Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about oily reading part C. Today's topic is allergic to eating. Okay. When you get the question paper, first you have to read the title. The title is allergic to eating. Just underline the title. Then after that you have to put the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Total 7 paragraphs are there in this passage. Okay. After that. You have to come to the question and read the question and underline the keywords. Okay. In the case, the case of K. Lucy Smith highlights the fact that food allergies. First option may be difficult to diagnose in certain people. Second, are relatively rare in adult population, can cause debilitating symptoms for often require urgent treatment. These are the points just to underline the keywords. Then you come to the passage and read the passage and understand what it is saying okay sometimes you won't get the overall meaning sometimes you you won't get the um sometimes you will get some difficulties to understand the passes okay don't worry just uh, just read you will get some idea okay just read you will get some idea what it is saying okay then you come to the passage come to the passage pick up the first option and mark this option with the passage okay if the option is say the passage okay sometimes the option will be the same sentence you will get get from the passage okay then what that time what you have to do you have to read the you have to understand what the question is asking we have to answer the question we have to we are going to answer the question not we are not going to we are not we are we, we are not going to select any option okay we are going to answer the question and and the question's answer will get from the options okay so here four options will be there okay only one option is correct options okay so you have to choose the most appropriate options most appropriate option you have to choose okay so you have to pick the you, you have to uh, you have to pick the first option and go to the passage and match this option with the passage if the and question is asking them uh, question is asking what is then you have to think what the question is asking if it is matching with the question you can choose if it is not matching you can eliminate okay so like likewise you have to do the reading test in oit reading parts okay when i do the rest of the questions you will understand what what is the method what is the technique i have applied here okay then first question maybe we are going to read the passage okay what is lucy smith was stro strolling through the Canberra last July, within moments she couldn't stand it by pain so severe she feared she, she would pass out. The first sign of paralyzed and diarrhea. This dramatic episode turned out to be caused by a newly acquired food allergy to red meat. Okay, food allergies affect 1% of the adult population of Australia. Most didn't hit, sorry, most don't hit the same force as Lucy's. But physical and mental impact can nonetheless turn a person's life upside down and may even be life threatening. Lucy deduced that she was allergic to red meat, one of the less common allergenic footsteps. Okay. Only after several further attacks of varying severity was her suspicion eventually confirmed by a specialist. Okay, you got the idea? Then you will get some idea, okay? You will get some comprehension, some idea, okay? Then you come to the option. Maybe difficult to diagnose in certain people, in certain people, especially their guy, they may be difficult to diagnose in certain people, okay? Is it? You have to match this option with the passage, okay? In case of Lucy Smith highlights the fact, what is highlighting the fact? That is the question about food allergies. That we have to find out. See, may first question may be difficult to diagnose with the certain people. Okay, what we are going to do? We are going to mark this option with the pass. Okay, difficult to diagnose in certain people. Okay, see only one point she has said about the diagnosis where the last point only after several further attacks of variant severity was her suspicion eventually confirmed by a specialist. Okay. Like that, uh, she concludes the last word, okay? But here not saying it is very difficult to find a diagnosis in certain people, okay? Though, so, are you getting my point? 
ఓకే ఆరే గెటిమ్ అయిపోయింది సో వీ కెన్ ఎలిమినేట్ దిస్ ఆప్షన్ యూస్ ద ఎలిమినేషన్ టెక్నిక్ ఓకే సెకండ్ వన్ ఓకే సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఆర్ రిలేటివ్లీ రేయర్ ఇన్ ది అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ ఓకే ఆర్ రిలేటివ్లీ రేయర్ ఇన్ ది అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ ఓకే సి హియర్ దే ఆర్ వన్ సెంటెన్స్ దే సెట్ ఫుడ్ అలర్జీస్ అఫెక్ట్ వన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ది అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆస్ట్రేలియా హీ ద పోయిన్ షీ డిస్కస్ ఫుడ్ అలర్జీస్ అఫెక్ట్ వన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ది అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆస్ట్రేలియా వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఆప్షన్ హియర్ దే ఆర్ గివన్ ఆర్ రిలేటివ్లీ రేయర్ ఇన్ ది అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ ఈస్ ఇట్ రేయర్ ఇన్ ది అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ నో ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ద అడల్ట్ పాపులేషన్ ద australia like that they said okay so this option is also not matching okay can cause debilitating symptoms okay can cause debilitating symptoms they are saying okay highlight okay what it is see lucy smith was strolling through canberra la, uh, last july within moments she couldn't stand gripped by pain so severe she faced she would pass out the first sign of paralysis diarrhea see the dramatic episode turned out to be caused by a newly acquired food allergy something he said here there are some symptoms okay after that okay lucy here most don't hit the same force as lucy okay but the physical and mental impact can nonetheless turn a person's life upside down and may even be life threatening okay see here food allergies affect 1% of the adult population so most don't hit the same force as lucy but the physical and mental impact can nonetheless turn a person's life upside down and may even life threatening okay so there is saying something okay so food uh, can cause debil- yes it can cause debilitating symptoms okay so we can make it query often require urgent treatment okay often require urgent treatment so you have to uh, uh, match this option with the passage here anywhere is it mentioning often require urgent treatment but it is life threatening that means she said it is life threatening but here not anywhere it is mentioned Uh, it is uh, often require urgent treatment okay we cannot imagine we cannot imagine and we cannot write our own answers okay here what are the option what are the points are given in the passage we we can find out the answer from that passage only okay we cannot imagine our own answer we cannot um, we cannot write our own answer but uh, if it is life threatening we will sometimes we will uh, think yes it is a, it requires urgent treatment but it is not it is not discussed in the passage okay we have to find out the answers from the passage not our own okay so we have to eliminate this option only one option is matching with the passage and highlighting can cause debilitating symptoms that is option number c you got it how i approach of uh, uh, reading part c okay this is the way you have to approach oet reading part c okay second one in the second paragraph okay in oit reading part c questions are in sequence okay first question will be in the first paragraph and second question will be in the second paragraph what point is made about food allergies what point is made about food allergies scientists continue to disagree about their root cause the symptoms are indistinguishable from those of allergies okay they can have an unpredictable impact on the person affected okay the distinction between them and allergies are not widely appreciated okay we are going to read the option number 2 number 2 an allergy an allergy according to immunologists is the immune system over reacting to a substance that would ordinarily be considered benign however the term allergy okay is used more loosely by the general public people say they are allergic to substance because it brings out brings about some kind of adverse reaction to their bodies okay some of which can be severe and may resemble to allergic reaction but unless the immune system it is 
Immersive state itself is directly involved. Experts suggest it as an intolerance. Okay. What two points they are given here? Okay. Constant sneezing, itchy eyes or throat, or and inner ears. Itchy eyes or throat and inner ears, asthma, rashes, and diarrhea can be sign of dialysis. Intolerance can bring on similar warning signs as well as things such as headache. Bloating and general lethargy. Over time, some allergies suffers also weigh, lose weight because there are there are so few foods they can eat. Of course, the social implications are huge too. Eating is a major social event. Okay. Uh, significant scientists continue to disagree about. Their root cause is it anywhere? It is measured. Scientists continue to disagree. There, disagree about their root cause is anywhere. It is mentioned. It is not mentioned. Scientists continue to disagree. It is not mentioned anywhere in this passage. Okay, if you have doubt, you can read. Why we are reading the passage means when we read the passage, we will get some idea. Okay, then we come to the options. We can eliminate some of the unnecessary options. That's the reason. You first you have to read the passage. You have to read the passage, then come to the option. Okay, you are getting my point. Okay, the symptoms are indistinguishable from those of allergies. Okay, if there is allergy, symptoms are indistinguishable. How can we say? Okay, but here it is clearly said if there is allergies, constant sneezing, itchy eyes, throat, and inner ears, asthma, rashes, and diarrhea can be the signs of food allergies. Okay, so. It is distinguishable, not indistinguishable. So we can eliminate this option also. Okay, they can have an unpredictable impact on the person affect. They can have, they can have, and they can have food allergies. Can have, but they can means they is represent the food allergies. Food intolerance can have an unpredictable impact. On the person affected, so we have to check in if there is any word they are saying unpredictable impact on the person's life. Okay, see you can read once more, but it, anywhere it is anywhere not discussing any points about un unpredictable impact on the person's life. Okay, you can read. Intolerance can bring on similar warning signs as well as things such as headache, bloating, lethargy. But here not mentioned unpredictable impact on the person's life. Some allergies affect loss weight because there are few food, few foods they can eat. Okay, but it is not mentioned anywhere. So eliminate this option. Okay, use the elimination technique. See the distinction between them. Them means. The means representing food intolerance. This is meaning food intolerance. Allergies are not widely appreciated. Okay, the difference between food allergy and food intolerance not widely appreciated. So here, allergy, according to is the immune allergy means if the immune system is directly involved, it is allergy. Okay, so but food intolerance is different. Okay, but what what is the approach of the population? However, uh, sorry, public. However, the term allergy used more loosely by the general public. Okay, people say they are allergic to substances because it brings some kind of adverse reaction to their body. But they are not discriminating between the allergy and intolerance. Okay, there are same symptoms as allergy. What are the symptoms? Sneezing, itchy eyes, throat, inner ear, asthma, rashes, and diarrhea can all be signs of food allergy. Intolerance can bring on similar warning signs as well as Things such as headache, bloating, and general lethargy. It is different. Okay, something uh, most most of the uh, almost almost signs and symptoms are same. There are some uh, in different. They, they will get more uh, symptoms. Okay, so um, then uh, what it is saying with the uh, distinction between them and allergies is not widely appreciated. Means not widely appreciated. What the word they are used to more loosely by the general public. Okay, so it is. Matching with the option, so we can directly choose option D is the correct answer. Okay, are you getting my point? Okay, the phrase via a difference biological mechanism in the third paragraph explains. Okay, the different biological mechanism in the third paragraph explains. One minute. Okay. Um, first option. 
the way this so the way the skin prickers works in diagnosing foot intolerance how the presence of foot impurities impacts the skin prickers why the skin prickers may not accurately diagnose foot intolerance how foot allergies are triggered by substance used in the skin prickers okay we are going to find out this answer okay then we come to the next part of that is uh, part of number 3 the diagnosis of foot allergy immunologists use skin prick test okay in which a drop of commercially extracted allergen is placed on the skin and the first couple of skin layers are prick with the lancet okay the person is allergic the immune system is stimulated sufficiently to produce a mosquito bite like bump within 15 minutes okay this testing method is however see there he is uh, however there is one connector okay he is going to say something different however somewhat unreliable in detecting food intolerance it is unreliable in detecting food because while not fully understood they operate via a different biology ke make they operate means the food intolerance If there is a food intolerance it operates via different biological mechanisms possibly involving chemicals in food irritating chemicals in food irritating nerve endings in the body where which is irritating the nerve endings in the body they are generally diagnosed they are generally diagnosed by following an exclusion diet how we can diagnose the biological mechanics sorry food intolerance they can they are generally diagnosed by following an exclusion of diet in which suspect foods are gradually reintroduced and their effects monitored this is the way we can uh, diagnose the food intolerance okay then we come to the passage the way the skin prickers works in diagnosing food intolerance no it is the way the skin prickers works in diagnosis what not food intolerance in food allergies okay say so how we can uh, we can diagnose food allergy use the uh, method can we can we can use skin prick test but not for food allergies food intolerance okay so it is opposing the uh, options okay then we can eliminate this the way the skin prick test works in diagnosing food allergies given not diagnosing food allergy it is diagnosing food uh, intolerance it diagnosing food allergies not food intolerance okay allergies how the presence of food impurities impact on the how the presence of food impurities impacts on the skin prickers okay here in the skin prickers they they uh, in which drop of commercially extracted allergen is introduced on the skin and first couple of layers are pricked with a lancet Uh, if the person is allergic the immune system is stimulated suddenly and produces mosquito bite like a bump with the 50 minutes this is the point they are given um, about the skin prickers but the the point they are given how the presence of no this not the presence of food input impact it is not mentioned in the passage so we can eliminate second option why the skin prickers may not accurately diagnose the food intolerances yes it is given in the past so why see i will show you the points however somewhat see food intolerance however somewhat unreliable in detecting intolerance because after that they are given because why while not fully understood they operate that is they means food in operate by a different biological mechanism possibly involving chemicals in food irritating nerve endings in the body okay it irritate the nerve endings in the body chemicals in the food irritate the nerve endings in the body that is the point they are given in the passage but here it is saying well, see what why the skin prickers may not accurately diagnose the food intolerance okay yes it is matching with the point so we can keep it query here okay why the skin test may not accurately diagnose food intolerance skin prick test to diagnose the food allergies not for food intolerance how food allergies are triggered by substances used in the skin prick test okay high food allergies are triggered by substances used in the skin prick test okay we are 
we have to answer the uh, answer the phrase the difference biology mechanics here the option is how photolysis are triggered by substances used in stethoscope there is some allergens they used for skin uh, prick test that for allergy that for uh, allergies food allergy that for detecting the food allergy not for food intolerance so here the point the phrase they are given under food intolerance that is it works under different biological mechanics so it is not saying about the food so we can eliminate this option also then the the correct answer is why the skin prick test may not accurately diagnose food intolerance okay you got the point next dr scouter uses the image of a fireworks factory image of fireworks factory to illustrate that okay the fact is triggering fact is triggering and allergic re reaction still remain unclear allergic attacks can occur suddenly any time in person's life it is difficult to foresee which family member an allergy will uh, will affect the identification of a food allergy is basically a matter of chance okay matter of just unexpectedly okay then that is we will get the answer in the disorderness pattern according to pediatric immunology specialist dr valencia souter souter around 6 to 8 percent of babies are affected by allergies because this is a uh, he said around 6 to 8 percentage of babies are affected by allergy why most children will outgrow them some actually grow into them okay the mechanism that provoke uh, the mechanism the mechanism that provoke an allergy remain a gray matter but he didn't find out what it is causing okay so to say it is like throwing a match in a firework factory okay if a match throwing a match in the firework factory what will happen suddenly it will fire okay so hit the height hit the right place hit the right the hit the right place the allergen will hit the right place and you set off a set of a chair reaction miss it and the match just fizzled out that difference between lighting up or, or fizzling out is not well understood okay this is just some point they are given in this paragraph okay then we come to the pass options in the in the doctor Souter uses the image of fireball factory illustrate he's illustrate that okay the factors triggering an allergic reaction still remain and the factors triggering an allergic reaction still remain unclear okay see one point he said according to pediatric immunology special doctor valencia Souter, around 68 percent of babies are affected by allergy while most children outgrow them most children outgrow them when they grow up it will disappear some actually grow into them means when they grow up, they will uh, they will appear some signs of food allergy okay the mechanisms the mechanisms that provoke the mechanisms that provoke an allergy remain a gray matter okay he is comparing something about uh, the mechanisms that provoke an allergy remain a gray matter that uh, gray matter means is a dark side okay we didn't find out okay what is the cause of this uh, problem okay after that he is saying Souter says it's like throwing a match into the firework factory okay anytime it can act up anytime it can act up but we don't know uh, what the exact cause of the cause of the uh, cause of the problem so like that he's uh, concluded and he said it is like throwing a match in the firework factory okay so the factors triggering allergic reactions still remain unclear means still remain unclear means uh, mechanism that provoken provoken allergy remain a yeah, gray matter means still remain unclear gray matter gray area means it's gray area means it's not clear gray so that means this remaining gray uh, the factor triggering reaction still remain unclear yes it is matching with the option so we can make it query here then we will come to the uh, B option. Allergic attacks can occur suddenly any time in, in a person's life. Okay. We have to match this option. Aller match, match this option with the past. Allergic attacks can occur suddenly any time in a person's life. Okay. So anywhere it is it can occur suddenly, suddenly in person's life. Anywhere it is discussing suddenly in person's life. Okay. He is comparing this point with the 
with uh, throwing a match in the fire but but it's not saying suddenly but sometimes we will misunderstand okay misunderstand that throwing a match in the fire party means throw, uh, like we, we like it, it can occur suddenly but the point is not saying in the 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 option is not saying in the past so we cannot choose the opt option because we cannot predict we cannot predict our own answers okay we have to choose what are the points are given in the passage okay so eliminate this option okay it is difficult to force which family men, member can allergy with okay in, in this part they are not discussing about any family member so we can eliminate this option the identification of food allergy is basically a matter of child the identification of food allergy is basically a matter of child means unexpectedly but if we have to match this option with the person the identification of a food allergy is basically a matter of chance is it anywhere they are saying the identification of food allergy basically a matter of choice. We can read once more. See how I have choose how I have chosen the answer. Okay, how I, I, I got the answer. Okay, you have to follow my technique. What how I am uh, finding out the answer. Okay, see you are not going to understand every each and every meaning. So we are going to pick pick up the options and we'll mark the option with the passage. Okay, so the option number D. See. Option number D, the, the identification of food allergy is basically a matter of chance. Is it anywhere he says a matter of chance? You can see. No, it is not saying anywhere. So, eliminate that option, okay? Eliminate that option, okay? What is the answer? The factors triggering an allergy re reaction uh, remain, still remain an unclear. Factors triggering an allergic reaction still remain unclear, okay? The scouter uses the image of a factory to illustrate, okay, where, where we got. See, according to pediatric immunology specialist Dr. Melissa Sauter, around 68% of babies are affected by allergy, while most children will outgrow them, some actually grow into them. The mechanisms that provoke an allergy remain a gray matter. After that, he said, he said, Houter says, it's like throwing a match with the firework factory. Okay, you got, that means. That means still remain and a gray matter means gray area means still remain unclear. If it is gray, it is not clear. Okay. Still remain unclear. Okay. In this paragraph, in the paragraph, so uh, so I have to go for duty 655 right now. Okay. So I am now. <laughs> Uh, okay, in the fifth paragraph, what point is made? In the fifth paragraph, what point is made about the two hypotheses mentioned? Okay, in the two hypotheses mentioned, they both appear to be credible. They directly contradict each other. They fail to define their terms adequately. They should both be studied in more depth. Okay. Okay, then we are going to check this answer. Broadly speaking, Dr. Scouse says that idea recipe for a food allergy is to be born of allergy parents and then to have a high exposure to one aller allergenic uh, food stuff. But there are so many exceptions to this rule that uh, other forces are clearly at work. And who's to say that what high exposure is anyway in contrast? Uh, the so called hygiene hypothesis suggests. Too low on exposure to allergen is to blame. The idea is that today's clean environment leave our immune system with too little to do, encouraging them to turn on the wrong culprits. Clearly, the field of immunology has only just scratched the surface of understanding. Okay, you got my point. Okay. Uh, then we come to the part of they both appear to be credible. They directly contradict each other. See, we have to see what are the two hypotheses. Okay. Here uh, it is saying one hypothesis he is saying um, what is allergic to parents, allergic parents they are more prone to develop allergy and if the high exposure to food, allergenic food there is a chance one point. Okay then second point is saying second hypothesis they are saying there is a clean environment if there is a clean environment there is a less chance of getting allerg uh, allergens okay so there is a clean environment there is a more chance to get allergy okay if there is a clean environment there is a more chance of getting allergy we can imagine our childhood we played uh, we played uh, outside okay we played outside 
okay but we didn't get that much disease so now what is children are uh, staying inside they are not get they are not getting the sport they are not going outside okay they are living in a clean environment but they are getting infections uh in infections very easily they will suddenly they will get if there is any rain is there is um, there is anything they uh, touch in contact they will affect the disease very immediately because uh, so they are living in a clean environment but they don't they don't have that much immunity to tolerate if there is uh, any uh, any events will happen in their life okay they they don't have that much immunity okay so uh, this this is the hypoth to hypothesis they are discussing okay so what is the point here it is one point they said if there is if there is one hypothesis they are saying if there is any allergy if there is if the, your parents have allergy to any uh, food stuff you you will also get second they are saying there is a clean environment that is allergen is not there then there is a chance of getting exposure okay allergen uh, there is a chance of getting allergies to hypothesis what it is this is both are contradicting each other okay they directly contradict each other so we can directly choose this options option number b okay they both appear to be credible no they fail to defend their terms he defend adequately he defend the passage they should they should they should both be studied in mode that is these two options are almost same options okay so we can eliminate directly okay then we will get out with the two options they directly call yes it is contradicting they appear both to be credible not credible they appear both to be credible but is not credible but it is contradicting each other okay what does the phrase this role in the fifth paragraph refer to see the likelihood of having an inherent allergy to certain foods the type of diet in which food allergies are more commonly occur the degree of contact with allergens needed to trigger a reaction the order of events most commonly found prior to allergic attacks okay these are the points they are given the word the same paragraph we will get this answer in the same paragraph okay broadly speaking dr scout says the ideal recipe for a food the ideal recipe means ideal point ideal recipe means Uh, he is illustrating some information ideal recipe for a food allergy ideal point is food allergy is to born a born allergy parents and then to born allergy parents okay and then to have a high exposure to one allergy food stuff but there are so many expectations to this rule that other forces are clearly at work and who's to say what might exposure in any way okay in this much he said something okay then we'll come to the options what are the option the likelihood of having an inherited allergy to certain foods okay likelihood means there is a um, likely means likelihood of like there is a chance of chance okay there is a chance okay likelihood of having uh, inherited allergy to certain foods but see is it anyway it is taking uh, in uh, the likelihood of having likelihood of having an inherited allergy to certain and first maybe we will confuse with the option okay inherited at some point they are said he broadly speaking dr south the idea recipe for food allergy is to be born of allergy parents and then to have a high exposure to allergenic food stuff okay if the parents have any allergy to food their children um, there is a chance of getting allergy okay so one point there's a second point high exposure to allergenic food stuff there is also chance to get allergy if there is a high exposure to one allergenic food stuff there is also chance to get an allergy these are the two points they are uh, the same one point is i've discussed one point is a food allergy food allergy is to be born of allergy parents and uh, one point second point is a high exposure to one allergy food stuff these are the two points here are, here it is given okay so what what it is the factors triggering allergy state reaction still sorry that not that the likelihood of an inherited allergy to a certain food to certain foods the likelihood of having inherited so it is not discussing maybe the inherited word we see here maybe we will confuse with maybe this is the distracting option okay we will we, we, maybe we will 
कंफ्यूज विथ द ऑप्शन बट इट इज नॉट डिस्कस्ड हियर ओके द लाइकलीहुड ऑफ हैविंग एन इनहर्ट एलर्जी टू अ सर्टेन फूड्स इट इज नॉट डिस्कस्ड देयर ओके सो हियर इफ द पेरेंट्स हैव एनी एलर्जी देयर इज अ चांस ऑफ गेटिंग एक्सपोजर टू टू देयर चिल्ड्रन ओके बट इट इज नॉट अ सर्टेन फूड्स द लाइकलीहुड ऑफ हैविंग सर्टेन फूड्स टू एन इनहर्ट एलर्जी द टाइप ऑफ डाइट व्हिच फूड एलर्जी आर मोर कॉमन ओके दे आर नॉट डिस्कस्ड एनी टाइप ऑफ डाइट more commonly okay. the degree of contact with allergens needed to uh, yeah, trigger a degree of contact with allergens needed to trigger a reaction third option the degree of contact with allergens needed yeah, to trigger a reaction we have to see degree of contact with allergens needed to trigger a reaction okay degree of contact with the here is a high exposure to an allergenic food so there hit degree of contact with the uh, mm, see the second option is uh, 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 so the, the degree of contact see in the second hypothesis there they, they are not contact with any allergens is a clean environment there so nowadays people are living in a clean environment there is not any contact with allergens but the but the, if there is no contact with allergen there is a chance of getting allergen there is a chance of getting allergies more here the, the say the degree of contact with allergen is needed to trigger a reaction so it is not the correct answer okay here see in the second hypothesis this what they are saying the clean environment there is a uh, there is a less chance of getting aller allergens okay but it is a clean environment there is a chance of getting allergy more that is a clean environment there is no allergens but chance of getting allergy is more that is second hypothesis so it is not the answer so that was not the answer so we got the d the order of events most commonly found prior of prior to allergen uh, allergic attack sometimes some options we didn't get the correct meaning okay so if we if you eliminate the three option you eliminate three options the fourth option is you you are not getting the conclusion you are not getting the correct answer so don't wait choose that option okay don't wait choose that option maybe that will be the answer guess that guess uh, guess and choose that option okay he the order of events most commonly found prior to allergic attack okay what are the uh, what are the point they are given here order of events what are the order of events what are the points he discussed what are, what are the order food allergy to be is to be born of allergy parents one order okay second what is high exposure to allergic reaction these the but there is so many expectation to this room. we are going to find out the answer to this rule what is saying okay what does the phrase this rule in the fifth fire refer to what are the what it is referring to the order of what are the events if the what are the events what are the order of events what are the events one event is one event is food allergy is to be born of allergy parents that is one second even is to have a high exposure to one allergenogenic food step okay these are the two events is discussing this uh, uh, matching with the this rule so what is the answer here answer is d okay d is the correct answer okay so um i hope uh, um today signing up sanida okay um uh, i there are two options are there in this pass okay one is option number 3 question number 3 and question number 14 okay for you have to find out this answer you have to find out this answer mm -hmm. what does the sixth paragraph suggest about the transference of allergies between mother and child it is only possible with particular individual it can result in in Ten instant instantaneous of malnourishment. It may be avoidable. Certain precautions are taken. It is most likely to take place before the baby is born. You have to find out these two answers and messaging. Okay, and the option I will show you the passage. You have to read this passage. Read this passage. Okay. Interest. I will read. Interesting flakes of information are gradually being peeled off that surface. However, there is evidence that allergens can be transferred through a mother's breast milk to her child, and possibly also through a placenta. Since the immature immaturity of baby's immune system might make them more vulnerable to an inherited allergic tendency, women in allergic families. 
uh, could be adverse to avoid certain foods during pregnancy and breastfeeding. It is possible though that some allergies or intolerances are poorly imaginary and this can also have consequences for children. Once the US study found that parents sometimes avoided foods to which they enormously believe the children were allergic, occasionally leaving the children severely underfed. Okay. This point is can it is we have to match it it is only possible with a particular individual. Okay, you have to check. It can result in instantaneous malnourishment. It may be avoidable if certain uh, precautions are taken. It is most likely to take place before the baby is born. Okay. See if if you have any doubt about these few questions, please message me. I will give you the correct answer. Okay. Please message me. I will give you the correct answer. So, last question. Dr. Scouter suggests that the, the rise in the case of an allergy case of one allergy may be passed due to attempts to improve eating habits, changes in food manufacturing methods, the adoption of uh, the adoption of new agricultural practice, increased level of harmful substance in the atmosphere. What do you have to do? You have to pick up the option and match this option with the passage. In the fourth pass, last question, we will get the answer in this passage. In this passage okay so read the passage read the passage match your option with the um, questions okay match your option match your option with the passage and uh, understand the question what it is asking then you answer the uh, you then you answer the options or questions okay so please message me what is the answer Okay, if you are getting any difficulties to find out the answer, please message me today. Signing a center. Before that, I would like to say something. If you need any coaching for online coaching for OIT reading or any other module, please contact me. My uh, phone number uh, uh, will be available in the description box. You contact me for any online coaching for OIT, especially for OIT reading and any other modules. Okay, uh, if you find this video uh, very informative, please like my videos and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for thank you today. Signing of Sanita. Cheta, 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 de.